Hi guys, I am Nicole from Cohort 15 and I wanted to make a quick tutorial video um, regarding an APA 7 template that will help you, um, according to Dr. Nix, I think he said 51% of our cohort was turning in papers without any headings. So I thought that this would be helpful. I mentioned it in a group meeting a week or so ago and nobody in my group had heard of it or used it before. So I thought, okay, I need to share this. Um, disclaimer though, this doesn't replace reading the APA manual because I, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's a really good place to start, especially if you have no clue about APA 7 or headers. Um, I know a while ago I couldn't wrap my head around level one, level two headers, what the difference was, what they looked like uh, until I started using this regularly. So I think it's really helpful and I just wanted to share what I do, what my system is when I have to turn in a paper so that if you need a place to start, this can hopefully be it for you. So what I do is I go to Google Drive and I'm going to click new and then I'm going to hover over this arrow. So instead of clicking on Google Docs where it would just open a blank document, I'm going to hover over the Google Docs button and then I'll hit from a template. When I do that, all these suggestions of templates are going to come up. You'll see that I use this quite frequently. So this is my first suggested. Notice it says report APA 7, not 6th, like over here. This one is 7th. For you, it won't be up here initially. So you'll have to scroll down and find it. But then after that, it should be up towards the top. So what I'll do is I'll click on this template and then it's going to open like this. And what's really nice is so many things are already set for you. So your formatting, your page numbers are set. If you wanted to keep your running head, it's up here. Uh, even your full title, title being in bold, things like that. And then what I'll do is I'll take out unnecessary things. Like if the author note is unnecessary because most of our papers are just academic papers, then I would just delete that. Then you'll scroll down, you'll see there's an abstract section. Um, so I, I know a lot of our assignments don't have that. So typically I delete that. I'll go down and here's where I'll start. You'll see full title of your paper. So that's going to be your first of usually two level one headings. So you're going to repeat the full title of your paper. And again, the formatting is set, so it should already be centered. It should already be in bold. That's your level one heading. Now, side note to show you why I don't think that this is perfect and my disclaimer was to still use the manual is what you see here on the screen is where it says method level head, uh, heading level one and then here participants heading level two. What this is is an orphan header where there's no text underneath it. And to my knowledge, that should never occur. So this is just a little snafu, um, but for the most part, having the uh, individual heading levels already formatted. So like you'll see a level heading three right here is already italicized. This is bold and it's left aligned. So it's just a nice place to start. And then from there, you can go back and reference your manual and make sure that you did everything you needed to do. Uh, if you scroll down again, here's just some more headings. Um, it tells you like heading level five is also in line. So there's little hints embedded into the template to remind you what you're supposed to do. Um, there's situations like if you were doing results with outcomes and a discussion. So obviously you would delete that part. And then lastly, references typically is our second of the two level one headings. So you'll see references is there. It's bolded, it's centered. Um, and then you have sort of the, the little pointers, the little tips, right? So this journal name here is already italicized. Then it tells you to write the volume number. Then it tells you to put the issue number in parentheses, little tips like that. So it's a really great place to start as long as you make sure to remember to just double check your work. And lastly, what I do, the system, like how this comes to be, right, is you take your rubric. So pretty much all of our rubrics have a list. It's usually in a chart form or table, and it'll tell you 
the categories that they want to see in the paper. So what I do is I have my first level one heading, which is the title of my paper. Then I take all of those sections that they have in the rubric table and I embed them into a level two heading, right? And then I delete whatever is unnecessary and then I begin writing. Now, if I have to go in depth and I have a level three heading under that level two heading, I add that. But typically speaking, all of the the bullet points or the, the categories in the rubric are just transferable into level two headings for the most part. And so that's how I get started. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully it makes sense. Let me know if you have questions about this template.